Listen, if he came to you and said, why are you dealing with that knucklehead ass nigga? That means we can obviously see that he's a knucklehead. That means that, it, or like if your homegirl say, why are you dealing with this man? That's what we're asking. It's not like, okay, you're, it's, we can see it. That means you should be able to see it too. So oftentimes when you hear, when you ask a woman, why is she dealing with somebody that we obviously can see ain't good for her? She will somehow remove herself from it and won't bear it all and be like, hey, look, yeah, I'm dealing with him because X, Y, Z. And it has something to do with her own personal choice. I'm not saying that if the dude is a liar, he's obviously a liar to everybody. So if he's lying to you, then he's probably lying to us. So he look, if he looks good to you, he's probably looking good to us as well. We're talking about when we know he ain't shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to go ahead and try trying to transition. Yeah, we got a couple topics to get oh, through. Shit. Guys, it just... <laughs> oh, Shane, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Shane. Shane, you be sitting there so quiet. I... So I'm yeah, sorry. I'm just listening to the conversation. I um, the reality of the situation is the love bombing can happen both ways. It does not have a gender attached to it, right? But most of the time, it is guys who love bomb because they want something, you know. Um, it is, but women do too, because they may want material things like you, we call them gold diggers, right? We just have a different name for them. Okay. So, um, what I'm seeing is this is so normally to answer your question, Sweeney, when a man love bombs you depends on how long he's love bombing you. You fall in love with the idea. Women usually fall in love with the idea and they live in that delusion, like what it could have been. And you try to make up for it, right? Because one thing about women is we are emotional creatures. We fall in love. And, and sometimes we fall in love with that ain't shit nigga. We ain't figured out he was a shit until we already fell in love and he got us, you know? And now once you're in love and men do the same thing, because I, I know y'all be falling in love with some trifling chicks too. Woman outside slashing your tire and you in love, well, you can't leave her, you know? We all fall in love with somebody we shouldn't. Everybody has had a moment where they fell in love with somebody they shouldn't have fallen in love with, right? So once you're there, it is so hard for anybody to get at it. I mean, the strong people who know themselves, like, you know what, I got to choose myself over this situation and they're able to walk away to heal themselves. Or some people don't even do that. They just go to another relationship and then they just damage that relationship because they still hit or people do it in different ways. But the end of the, the, at the end of the day, the real issue is at that point, he already got her. He's already in her mind. He's already in her heart. And it's harder to walk away from a situation when that is the situation, because you fell in love with the idea, you're still holding on to it. And even though he throwing all these punches at you, it's too late. I'm in love. <laughs> and I want to, you know, we all got that cousin. Now. And, it, and, it's, it, you, and this is the thing about it, right? When you're on the outside looking in, it's so easy for you to say, leave it alone. But I can tell you right now, you probably in a situation or you've been in a situation where somebody did the same thing to you and you couldn't walk away. We have all been there. You cannot sit here and tell me we ain't all been there. We have been there. And it could look just a little different. It may not be love. It may be another situation in your life. You know, nobody is, is free of being in stupid situations that we shouldn't be in. We've all been victims. Now, we learn from them. The, the goal is to be in that situation and never put yourself in that situation again. That's the goal. Some of us keep making the same mistakes over and over again. But to sit here, you, you're not being honest with yourself. To sit here and say that you've never been in a situation where you probably fell in love with the wrong person. And the goal is to learn from that situation and just never do it again. And I can sit here and say okay. it's wrong all day long. I but if that person feels like it's wrong and they get themselves out of it, it ain't nothing you can do. I think what Second, Sweeney and Hank are trying to say is that's all good and fine, but when you ask a guy, he's just going to flat out tell you the truth opposed to a woman that's going to make up every reason around the sun why he is the problem and she not saying, oh, well, I just, why well, can't we just well, say, oh, I love him or. Oh, yeah, for he, sure. Just say I love him. Yeah, they, they, we, we beat around the bush is what they say. Where it's like even a guy, he would say, "Man, it's dog, because I love her, bro, man. Yeah, I know she slashed my tires, man, but man, that's the but that's my you baby mama. That's the kids of my that's my baby mama. Or they tell you straight up why they're dealing with her. And then and once you and the thing is that's why that's why it's so much easier for men to walk away because we're honest about the situations that we're in, and that gives the men that we are around more context and how to get us out of it." So they would say, hey, so now once you tell me why you love that woman or why you there, now I can help you get out of it. 
Whereas with women, it's so much harder to do because you won't. Because if if you say everything is him, then how am I supposed to help you? So, so I do think I, I do think that for men, it is easier for them to walk away from a situation, right? But I think they hold on to it a lot longer than women do. Women, once we get over it, we over it. Y'all will take it out. The next bit, y'all be like, I know, man, I'm gonna just be out here popping. You will hold on to that one chick who did you dirty forever, and it's gonna control your life how you date from this point on. Y'all will hold on to some stuff. I mean, Word. even look at, look at you know, yeah, you called, do. I mean, look that's at even learning when it, from your mistakes. That's what that's called. Yeah, but you don't that's have to that. damage everybody. So you can learn from your it's mistakes, but you don't. So, so this is the difference. Learn from your mistake and don't repeat the same mistake, right? But when you there learn you from go. your mistake, that's exactly what we're doing. I'm no, no, not, no, look, no, I've no, been no, with no, that no, trans no, woman. No, I'm not no, going, no. I've seen her type. I'm not going back to that type of woman. Trans. Just like I said, what I had to say, I'm not going to go in these trash areas and and sit and sit and hang out with trash people. I did that before. I didn't get a good result. No, 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 no Hank, what she's saying, what she's describing is she's saying that a man that men are more likely. To be jaded by a relationship to where we treat every woman after that some type of way. That's what that's her claim. So, 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 and I, and I say this, and I say this, and listen to what I'm saying. I say this because y'all already, y'all can see a good one, a woman, but y'all sit here, oh, she got, I, it could be a 35 year old woman, and I hear it all the time in the street, oh, she got all these bodies. Now you think all women got bodies because you met one that got bodies. Or you, you, y'all like to put all these people in one category just because of whatever. That's that's just you're not even they giving a woman a chance to prove herself. Y'all just be sitting here labeling people. You know what's people crazy though? Had that. I, I, that's what I was gonna say. I don't deny that we do that. We most definitely do that, but no more than women do. We well, all Sam, do that. Question. We I'm all do that. Right. Sam, my question for you is: is, is it is is a woman wearing spanks? Is that love bombing too? Sick of this shit. Hey, 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 I would have to say this. Hey, you I believe that if a woman, I do believe. Look, look, look. That y'all gonna hate me for this? When you wear too much makeup, because I've seen the videos where it'd be like pow, and then she got the makeup on, and she's like a totally different person. Love bombing, absolutely. When you look like a total, if your makeup, your makeup should just enhance what you have. If once you take your makeup off, you look like a totally different person. Like if I see you on the street in the grocery store, I don't even recognize that as you. Y'all got to stop using the psychological terms because nobody, unless you have a degree in psychology, you got to, and you could diagnose somebody, stop using these terms. This is not what love bombing means. We're talking about nothing. We got to stop. Y'all just lying to each other. We can move on, please. Thank I appreciate you. that, Bella. What's I the, what, what was the love bombing? Okay. Is love bombing even a psychological? I think that's just added to the dictionary. Is it even? I don't it's, know. A, it's a psychology well, term you, and y'all all yeah. using it wrong. So I have used it at all. Stop. I haven't used it at all, but I agree with you. But we don't have to use told. the word love bombing. Not, whatever okay. it is, right, the scenario, listen, we don't have to use the okay. word love bombing. But whatever it is, just take that word out of it. Whatever it is, is have the, the scenarios that we're using are happening, whether we like it or not. And this is the conversation that we're having. Let's just take the word love bombing out of it and talk about use the word facade. Facade is a good word. Okay. 